Hello everyone and welcome back to Reptiles and Resin. Okay, so we did not get Mr. B unmolded on the last video because he was so soft. But we're going to do it in this video today. So I figured since I'm doing this, I'm going to make him a partner in crime with, um, I haven't poured this mold yet, with the, um, Oh, Lord, I can't think. Dragonfly mold that I got. It holds three ounces. But we're going to... I'm going to use these little beads that I've had forever. Just little... What do they call these? Seed beads. They do have holes in them. They will float. But I'm going to just try to put them like I did with the glitter just down in here. But the first thing I thought about doing is I want to make a little dam right here for his head and get these beads in here. So I'm going to use some UV resin for that so I'm gonna just squeeze out a little bit of UV resin in here the let's resin high velocity and I'm gonna put a few little beads in here and I'm gonna try to make a dam let me get this ready where's my little I guess I'll use this It'd probably be better so I'm going to just mix these little beads up with this in here. Get it nice thick, but get them coated. I might need some more. Let me, let me go on and just put a little bit more in here just in case. A little another drop. Because I'm not trying to fill the whole head up. I just want to make a dam with these. So I'm going to go on and get this light ready. Knowing my luck at a cure before I put it in here. So basically, I just want to make a little bitty dam just to hold these beads in here. While I fill up the rest with regular resin. Okay, that's working good. So I'm going to fill up the rest with regular resin. Okay, so I'm going to go on and cure that really quick, like. Okay, that worked good. Because I don't have to fill it all the way to the top. I just want to get it to where the beads are not going to come out. So that worked really well. Okay, and I made way too much, which I figured I would. I will cure it from this side as well. Hopefully, it'll go through there a little bit. I'm really hoping these beads show up good. They should. Okay, so now I'm going to only mix up about a half an ounce of resin. And I'm just going to get the gloves since I've got to mess with the regular resin. And I wasn't touching the UV resin. Go on and put my gloves on. And I'm only going to make up a half an ounce because I'm pretty sure this is not going to hold that much. So I'm going to just use the JD Addiction 4-Hour D-Mold for the bead part. And I'm going to do a half an ounce. Whoop, and that's way over a quarter right there. Way over. So... Let me pour some of this right back in here and see what we're working with now. That's still way more than a quarter. Alrighty. Um, let's see. Alright, we are on the quarter mark. Thank you, Lord. Okay, so I will get this one. Oh, goodness. And I can't go heavy-handed on this one, or I can't put it back. Okay, where's the half a mark at? Oh, it's so hard to see since they're clear. Everything is clear. Okay. Go slow on this one. Okay, that's there. Almost there. Oh, 
almost there. I'm just trying to let it ooze out some because I don't want to over pour out of the stuck. Slow pouring. Almost there. Oh, let me check. Okay. Okay, a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Okay, that might. Okay. Uh, all right, let me see here. Um, we're still not at the half. Huh. Almost a. Now that should do it. That should do it. Yeah, there we go. All right, we are at a half now. Let me put the top back on this. And that's the four hour demold resin. Okay, so I'm just gonna mix this up. Because I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna need a lot for this. Oh, I need to go get a bottle of alcohol before I forget. Hopefully there's yeah, there's enough in here. There is enough in here. I'm going to spray a little bit in the cup while I mix. It will help pop some of those bubbles. But it's fine. I'll just mix this up real good. I'm not going to put it in the vacuum chamber or anything. That way we can get all both of them demolded in this one video because I want to see how this dragonfly looks. And I'm going to um, back the dragonfly in the same uh, mica powder with the gold. But I'm just, instead of the glitter, I'm adding the beads to this one. I want to see. So I have a, not a big bag, but a little bit of beads little bit see there are like multiple colored jewel tones like purples and blues and some greens and I know I poured way too many in here so I already know that get this mixed up The TV's too loud. All right, so I'm gonna just add some beads to this. I'll probably just go and add them off. I have extra. Well, make sure I get them in good. Spray my mold. It does. It is one of these molds with the indentations in it. Like if you want to do different color mica powders in certain sections or UV resin, it is one of those molds. Alrighty. So let's see. I'm gonna just try to get some of this and let it drain off of my stick a little bit. Oh, I don't know how those beads are going to flow in that little bitty spot. I just thought about that. I want to get, yeah, they'll fit in his little antenna. One bead at a time, apparently. Yeah, it's way too much resin here. That's okay. I'm going to just push them down and get as many as I can in, in here. Okay, come on now. All right, hopefully it doesn't go over my little dam here. Let me pour some of this clear resin out.
my husband in there watching all the court TV stuff. Let me shut my door. Oh, goodness. I don't have to hear all that. All right. That's better. That owl is better. I went rolling across the room there. Okay, let's see here. Let's see if we can get any more beads in here. Try to get as many beads as I can to settle down in there. Tear a little paper towel off and kind of try to soak up some of this extra resin that's in here. And just try to get the beads pushed down in there. Hopefully I'm not picking up beads. Nope. Okay. Let me pour a little bit more of this clear resin off. I don't need that much of the clear resin. I should have never did that. I should have just poured the resin. I guess I only needed a quarter ounce of resin. It's all right. I'll make something. Just try to get as much of these beads in here as possible. I don't think I can get any more in here. Yeah, I don't think I can. Okay. Let's just go on and get it down in here then. Go on and get it in this little tail part here. Hopefully these beads show up nice. I'm hoping they will. All right, let's smooth him out. I'm probably sure I'm going to have some cleanup to do on him around the edges. Okay, let's see here. Now, this probably won't spread like the glitter did, but I'm going to throw like a few of these beads over in here. But we'll see. If it does, it does. I was actually kind of hoping it would. A little bit here. Like put just some beads like along in here. Yeah, I might need some more beads after all. Just a few going down the wings, like the butterfly, I mean, not the butterfly, the, um, the, uh, oh, how did that get in there? It's a bigger bead. Let me put you over there. Okay, let me, oops. I think there's some beads down in here that fell, yeah. Okay, so I'll just use some of these. I might, because I don't want a lot, so I'm going to just... Spread them out just a wee bit going through his wings here. Like that. Just a few because the rest of them are going to be the gold. The gold mica powder. So we're just going to just gonna spread a few beads through here. Hopefully I'm in shot. Let me move this. And so I'm going to just spread a few beads here and there. Here and there. Just spread them out just a little bit, but they're going to be um, back with some um, gold mica powder there. Put some over in here. Okay, so I might not have to use any more beads because I don't want a lot in here and I can't take from this. Because I'm going to back all this anyway. Push just a few up in his little wing area here. 
just a few give them a little sparkle guess I could put some glitter in here but you know what I might sprinkle a little glitter in here you know I got my I reused jars they're perfect for this I got my black holographic glitter let me just put a little bit in here just a little bit let's see what we have here because that was my intent to do the first time okay I guess we could use a little bit more than that if I can get it out of the jar with a spoon which I cannot that should be enough oh yeah because that made that thick so yeah it made it thicker okay so let's see how we gonna do this I'm gonna just kind of yeah like that spread a little bit through the wing area here and then back him with some gold mica powder all right so we did use the whole half ounce so I really only had to make up what two and a half ounces to finish filling maybe even less well I'll probably just make up two because it does have all these beads in here and stuff so yeah all righty we need a little bit more over in here just spread it out a little bit I, I am pretty sure I think there's it's heavier on this side than it is the other. I could be wrong, but I think I'm right. All right. So what I'm going to do is let this get tacky. It shouldn't take long since it's four hour D mold. And then I'm going to come back and I am going to pour the... um gold mica powder over it get you in there I'm trying to make them to where they're similarly even even here oh lord it's too early in the morning i can't talk all righty no glitter left behind get on in there now I'll just give it a little extra bling bling okay it seems like my dam is holding very well I'm gonna even this out make sure I got that I don't know if any gold is gonna come up through here might be able to get a little gold in there because it's kind of packed I guess I can push it down a little bit that way I can just back it in the gold because I do want to the whole back to be gold so I guess I'll push it down a little bit just get a little bit of that gold mica powder up in there alright so I think we are good to go and like I said this glitter will give it a little bit of shimmer which is be good Let me push this over a little bit more this way just a wee bit okay I think that was good okay beads are floating a little bit yeah they float but that's okay I'm pretty sure I can get a little bit of mica powder over them let me get another paper towel here and just kind of wipe this off a little bit if I have a little cleanup that's fine Let me push this down some more because I want that like I said that gold mica powder all right let me see here uh, it still looks like it's got more on the other side and I think it does more of the glitter Oh well that'll be fine anyways all 
Alrighty, so I will be back when it is time to do the mica powder on it. Alright, I will see you guys then. Hello everyone, we are back. Welcome back, welcome back. So, I have mixed up two ounces of resin. And I put a little dabble of the Unicorn Art Crush Crystal in here. And now I'm going to add the Gold Mica Powder. And get this stirred up and we are going to do our final layer on the Dragonfly. Yeah, we are going to do our final layer on this dragonfly. And hopefully I've made up enough. It holds three ounces. I think I may could have made up too much. Make sure all the mica powder is mixed in here well. So it's, you know, sometimes it doesn't like to mix that well, but most of the time it does. And it seems like this is setting up really, really nice. I'm hoping, actually, I'm going to turn it around this way so I can see if I can get it in those little, just drizzle it over those little antenna of his the best I can. Like I said, just a little drizzle or something. Or something. See, I done made a mess already all over it. Okay, let me see here. Okay, let's start this over. <laughs> yeah. Let's start this over. Alright, so. Alright, I guess I'll stop down here and kind of pour a little, I guess I should have sprayed a little bit of alcohol in here just in case. Just in case. Alrighty. Yeah, see that? That's not going to take that much right in here because I did fill it up pretty well with the, um, with those beads there. Just going to start pouring. Oh, I'm pretty sure I have enough. Like I said, this mold holds two, I mean three ounces when I measured it with water. So hopefully I've made up enough. I think I have. It's looking like it. Put a little drip or two in here. I know the antenna and stuff is not going to hold much. But I just want to kind of get it leveled off basically. Yeah, because I tried to fill up those antenna. So I know it's not going to hold much of this gold. But I tried to get as much as I can in. That should have enough in here. almost full 
We are getting there. That is such a pretty light gold. It really, really is. All right, yeah, we'll have a probably a little bit left over here. Make sure I try to get it as even as possible here. Make sure I get his little wings and all filled up. It's a little pretty little dragonfly wings. Oops. Alrighty, let's see those. Okay, that's looking pretty good. The antenna. Might be able to get a little bit more in his little tail end here. got that pretty full though alrighty I think that might be good I don't think I'm gonna be able to get any more in there and one little bead sticking out but it looks like I'm gonna have a little cleanup around his antenna just a little bit hopefully I can do that when I demold him. Okay, so we got about a quarter of an ounce left. Let's see here. I have well, I have Snelly, but he's not ready. I put some of this clear into his head and I wanted it to sit in there. So I'm going to leave Snelly alone and just let that clear cure because I was going to do him just a clear head okay so what can I put the rest of this in I can't put it in there because it's going to sink um, da -da -da. oh you know what I can always um, actually I think I might just put the rest of this in this little fish in this fish mold just to put it in the body part here but well, not the body yeah the body of the fish not the fins I think I will just put it in the body and let it fill that up it shouldn't run out anywhere else yeah and he can have a gold body and then I'll just probably mica powder the rest yeah I'll just put my, there you go. Always have a mold handy to throw your extras in. I always try to have something handy. But I had some clear in the snail because I want to do one with a clear head with those crystals in it. And then whatever our next project will be, I'm going to just fill the snail up the rest of the way with our next project after this one. Okay, so see, yeah, that, that's kind of staying in the head area, so, yay. I will draw him some eyes on later. Alrighty, so it's running down the fin a little bit. I gotta clean my cup. See, it's running down the fin just a very little. I actually can prop him up a little bit on a stick here just to keep it from running too much, yeah. That way it won't run too far. Just kind of stay in the body. And I'll just prop him up a little bit there. And it'll stay, it'll be in that one little fin. And, and, um, the body of the beta fish. Alright, let me get my cup and stick cleaned out here. 
spray you one more time. Get this cleaned out. That way I can reuse the cup faster. I had ordered... <coughs> oh, God, alcohol. I had ordered some... Um, I just got it all over my gloves. Some UV. Um, UV. I had ordered some uh, Let's Resin measuring cups. The silicone. Because I've been looking. <clears throat> excuse me. I have been looking for some silicone cups with the black labeling on them. That way you don't have to keep buying those plastic cups. You're going to halfway save the environment the best you can. So I'm going to see how those work when they come in. I just ordered them. So, just ordered them. This video won't come out until tomorrow. So, I think it was one day shipping on it. But with Amazon, you never know. And the, <clears throat> the only thing with these is just so hard to see when you're pouring resin. And I've tried to use marker on it. It just comes right off. All right, spray you one more time. Even though I'm choking to death on alcohol over here, I need to put a mask on. And I am going to... We will be demolding this, so we'll come back to it. We'll be demolding it. Demolding. Bleh. These two. This is still a work in progress, so Mr. Fishy will not get demolded. Nope. Mr. Fishy would not be demolded. Try to keep it to where it's right in there. Yeah, at least I got to use that. And we will be unmolding these two once they are ready to go. Hopefully, wow, why did I spray the bee? Hopefully they'll be ready today because it is the four hour demold. So it shouldn't take too long. All right, well, I will see you back at demolding. See you later. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Reptiles and Resin. Okay, so our stuff is nice and firm now. It looks like some of my glitter, my black glitter, did float up. I thought it was set pretty good, but apparently it did not. But we are going to go on and unmold the bee since this was the first one that never got pulled. Well, got poured, but never got thinged. Yeah, and like I figured, he has a ridge. He has a ridge. Not too bad, just his little antenna. Okay, I'll get that in a moment. I don't have a piece of paper. Okay, ooh. Very, very pretty. Ooh, I'm dropping everything. Very, very pretty. I like that. That bee turned out so pretty. Yes, it did. He turned out really pretty. He's shiny and sparkly, and I love the gold. He turned out really pretty. He just need a little cleanup around his antenna and these little, well, there's a little bit right there. But, yeah, he turned out really, really, really pretty. That turned out really pretty. I like that. Yes, I do. That turned out really pretty. Like I said, he just need a little clean up. The little clean up. He turned out really pretty. I like that bee mold. That is really pretty. And I like that light gold. This one, that is really pretty as well. All right, now he's not going to fit on the paper towel, but we'll make it work here. I don't think this one might have any overage to clean up. I guess we'll see when we get to the antenna. Oh, there is some around here. A little bit of clear. Yeah, I clean him up. And yeah, some around the antenna. The antenna are really 
still really soft because see they're bendable everything else is nice and hard nothing's bending but that well it bends a tad but it's not that much the mold came out nice and clean and he holds three ounces this one did oops well alrighty let's see what we got here let's see oh I will it's pretty but I can't see the beads like I had wanted to. Yeah. But it's still pretty. Yeah, I just don't see the beads like I was hoping they would show up some there. But that's okay. He's still pretty. He's still pretty. Yeah, his little antenna are soft. Yeah, I thought I was hoping to see the bead. I mean, if you look close up, you can see it really good. The different colors in the beads. I see the glitter sparkling. Yeah, it looks good, though. It's nice, thick wings. Just the antenna are still really soft. You can see the beads in there. <laughs> but it's a nice size, though. Nice size. Bigger than the than um the BB here. I still don't know what I do with my tape measure. Oh, yes I do. I want to measure the okay. The wingspan of Mr. Dragonfly is seven and three fourths inches wide by. Let's see. To his antenna is like I would say um five and three fourths. And the B, let me scoot you over, is six inches from wing to wing, is six inches. From antenna to his little stinger is four inches. Yeah. I'm not sure how thick they are. How thick is this wing? Let's see here. It's about, oh, it's almost at a half inch. It's not there yet. But it's, it's past a quarter, because a quarter is right there, and he's right here. I'm not even going to think about what notches that is. So basically, he's one centimeter thick. Yep, he's one centimeter. Let me do that again. Yeah, he's one centimeter thick, so one centimeter. Yep, one centimeter. He's one centimeter thick. Now, this one I know isn't that thick. He's a half a centimeter. Yeah. The bee's a half a centimeter thick, but I think that's just the wings. This is probably a whole centimeter because he's a little chunky on his stinger there. The overage. I'm going to have to pick off. Okay. Yeah, these turn out really pretty, though. Kind of... I, I mean, I like the beads, but I can't really see them like I hoped. But then again, it was just an experiment. But it still turned out really pretty. But the glitter shows so pretty in this one. I kind of wish I would have went on to use the same glitter now. My gold mixed glitter in this one. kind of wish I would have. Because that, that glitter in this one shows up really beautiful with that gold. Don't get me wrong, he's pretty. He's very, very pretty. I got one bubble right in the little wing section right there. Just one that I can tell so far. You well know there's a little one. It's just some little ones. They get caught up. So, yeah. Now, these can be put anywhere you want. I would say, should you could probably take his little antenna and... and, and hang him whenever it dries real good but what I, well what I was thinking I don't know what I did with them um oh I have one here I gotta find my other yard stakes these are little stakes you get ooh, from Amazon little yard stakes like if you want to hold a tip down or something and these are the small ones they're like um half inch width like this way and 
what I do is I UV res. I only got one. I would put it on here, but I, what I do is I um I'm going to do my B. But what I do is use these like you can stand them up in the garden, and you just I, what I do anyway is oh, let me borrow him to hold him straight. Let me show you what I do. I usually now for this one I wouldn't be able to use the whole thing on there, so what I would do was pop that in half and just have to use one or I could take a pair of pliers and squeeze that all the way in there just squeeze it to where to go in there but I gotta find my other ones I don't know what I did with them I found this one I think I was gonna use this for a seahorse and never got around to it okay let me put that up just a little bit higher and let me show you what I usually do with where's my Okay, so this is, I just use UV resin and attach the, um, the thing to the bee. That's all I do. So I just put a little layer of UV resin down. Well, not a little layer, a good little bit. And I just squish that into it there. Make sure it's touching and then I put some on top of it. Kind of like drizzle. Hopefully y'all can see this. Drizzle like on top of it here. Like drizzle, drizzle, drizzle. Just so everything's connecting. And then turn on that lamp and I cure it. And it stays right in place for me perfectly too. <coughs> you have to excuse me. That my, my sinuses and allergies are so bothering me with all the pollen in the air. I wake up sounding like a hot mess. All right, let me see how well that's cured. Okay, good. And see, he can just be staked into the ground. You could also, you could have tilted him a little bit. Actually, yeah. You know what? I probably, yeah, I could probably put this on the back of there and tilt my dragonfly instead of standing him up. And there, you don't have to worry about and there's a big old bubble, but I don't care. You don't have to worry about, like, doing it from this side or anything. Because you're just putting on clear resin. And this is not going to pop off on you or anything. And, you know, I don't know if you could do two together. You know, like, side. Because something, yeah, because the mold's not, yeah, you wouldn't be able to, to uh, sandwich them. That's what I'm trying to think of. Sandwich two together. But I usually just sit them, you can sit them around your, like, if you have your garden and you got, like, your mulch and stuff and your outline, just sit them. That's what I'm going to do with him. I'm going to sit him right outside, and I would love to do some more. Little bees and some little dragonflies would be so cute. Just stick them in the ground, and they will hold. They're not going to go nowhere. All right. Ooh, see, even the stick is warm. That D, this Let's Resin Light gets hot. And it does. It gets hot. Even this is warm to the touch. So, yeah, see, it's not. It's not going. Oh, his leg's still a little soft there. It's not breaking off. It's on there. So, all you, you, you have to do is stick him in the ground. And that, and you are good to go. And you, like you said, I didn't have, I should have kind of tilted him a tad bit. But that's okay. I probably tilt some more, like just tilt it like this. And then put the thing going down like that. Just give it a little tilt and then put this like right here coming down. You can do a whole little series. You can even get some of these that are taller, shorter. Push them in the ground and have a little. Like three set of bees flying by. But yeah, that's what he's going to do. He's going to go on in one of my flower pots outside. And this is a good idea to keep them in place. But I just wanted to share that with you guys. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. And I appreciate everyone that has joined me on our resin adventures together. Hopefully I inspire you all 
to get out and make some resin pieces. It's not that difficult. Um, make sure you wear your gloves. I don't have any on now because everything's dry. I did not touch this while wet. But yeah, um, I still haven't gotten around to filling this one up. So hopefully I'll get him filled up for the next one. I put the rest of my gold in him. And yeah, garden stakes. Just the little ones. I, like I said, I found these on Amazon. And just UV resin them down to any creations. Now I don't know about them big old heavy turtles or anything. I don't know. If you get the right stake, you probably could do Ju Julie's turtle. And have it staked. Probably could. Not a bad idea, actually. But he is a heavy... Oh, let me tell you. Whew, I was cleaning the living room yesterday. And the turtle I made, Julie's turtle mold, the large one, I dropped it. It made a nice dent in my hardwood floors. That's all I have to say. I've got to figure out a way to get the dent out. But yeah. Thank God it didn't hit my toe. That booger's heavy. But all right, you guys, I'm going to let y'all go. Thank y'all for watching, and have a very blessed day. I will see you later. Bye.